what's up you guys, Stoutmeister here, and today's Shut the Fuck Up is dedicated to this woman that just so happens to be so obsessed with the Disney movie Frozen that she's willing to throw away her marriage just because her husband does not have the same exact excitement as this crazy bitch does, as well as people that break up with their boyfriends, girlfriends, and divorce their husbands and wives over the most petty bullshit. And before I go any further into this video, I just want to say this one thing. I have not seen the movie Frozen. And I'm not speaking as a person that has seen the movie Frozen, because that would be lying. And I don't want to lie to you guys about that kind of thing, or just lie at all in general. But, yeah, this is something that is just so ridiculous that I'm just talking in a general sense as to why anyone would divorce someone just because of different movie tastes. Now this 29 year old Japanese woman is such a fanatic of the Disney movie Frozen that she has gone to the movie theaters dozens of times, possibly spending hundreds of dollars on tickets just to sing along with the even more overrated song Let It Go that I constantly hear from people and possibly spending even more money on overpriced snacks, drinks, popcorn, and all that other good shit before she decides to tag her husband along to watch the movie with her. Now, after they leave the movie theater after I don't know how many times that she's gone to see the movie, this being the husband's first time, the husband is asked what he thought about the movie. And this is what the husband had to say. It's an okay movie, I guess but I didn't really care for it personally. Now, if you are a rational human being, what would you get from that sentence? You would get that this person thought that there might have been some good things in that movie, there might have been some really shitty things in that movie. For all we know, he really hated the movie, but he wanted to be polite. But nonetheless, he wasn't bashing the wife for liking the movie, no. He just has his opinion, and yeah. Instead of being a good wife and actually respecting the husband's opinion as to not liking what she likes, she just goes absolutely apeshit, and she has this to say. If you can't understand what makes this movie great, there's something wrong with you as a human being! I want a divorce! Yeah, because that's what every couple should do, right? Um, if they don't like something so petty like the same movie or the same musical artists or the same books or whatever the fuck, you should just divorce them because uh, you have to like the exact same things. If there are any differences in your relationship, if there are any differences in your personality, then you're not compatible to be in a relationship with each other, let alone a marriage. Yeah, what a great fucking example. Slow clap. And radical religious folks and conservatives have the nerve to say that homosexuals are ruining the sanctity of marriage. No stupid, arrogant pieces of shit people of all types, whether it be heterosexual, homosexual, bisexual, whatever the case may be. Stupid, ungrateful, arrogant bastards and cunts are ruining the sanctity of marriage. Anyone that does not know the value of a person and is willing to divorce someone over petty bullshit, those are the type of people that are ruining relationships, marriages, so on and so forth. These are the type of people that are ruining life for everyone else. As I'm currently talking about this news story, this 29-year-old woman child is currently living with her parents coping with the traumatic experience of having a husband soon to be ex-husband that just doesn't like the same movie in the same manner as she does she has to cope with that i mean it's equivalent to cheating lying stealing it, it, it just not liking the same movie as your spouse that is a crime equivalent to cheating, lying, stealing, and any other hurtful thing that you could do to your spouse. It, it, it's worse than domestic violence, for God's sakes. I mean, if you don't like the same movie as your wife, then you, you just deserve blue balls for the rest of your life. Man, what the fuck is wrong with you? And I know that this husband has had some expectations considering the fact that Frozen is supposed to be based off of a novel, as we can read in this article right here. Because the husband has a degree in Danish literature, there were some expectations that he would at least show slight appreciation for the movie. 
especially that Frozen was inspired by Hans Christian Andersen's story, The Snow Queen. However, the opposite was observed. Yeah, and usually when you have such high expectations for a movie to follow the plot line from a book or from the older movie that the newer movie is being rebooted based off of, and people don't see that, and the movie just goes a completely different direction, yeah, you're going to have a lot of disappointed people. And, again, this is the husband's opinion. He's not going to divorce the wife, for having a different opinion. But this 29 year old crazy bitch obviously wants to win the award of biggest Frozen fan of the decade and congratulations, you got your goddamn award but lost the marriage in the process. Now let's also congratulate this piece of shit for being on the same level as Britney Spears, Kim Kardashian, and just about 95% of the celebrities that are in on and off marriages for the sole reason of publicity. Let us also congratulate this crazy bitch for being on the same level as the blood of the dance floor fantards known as the SGTC, the One Directioners, the Believers, any fantard that will go as far as to send you death threats and cut themselves or do anything drastic just because you don't like the same things they do. Yeah, she's on that same level. My only advice to this guy right here, let her go, let her go, let her go, let her go, let her go. Yeah, that was poorly based off of the Let It Go song that's from the movie. I know, Corny. Yeah, fuck you. That's all I have to say in this video, you guys. And I know Muggy wants to throw in his two cents, so let's have at it now, shall we? Now to this crazy child woman. Shut the fuck up, get your head out of that loose cunt, and realize that just because people don't like the same things you do, that doesn't mean that they're any less human than you. I mean, for God's sakes, it's people like you that are ruining the sanctity of marriage. To anybody that would end a friendship, a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship, or a marriage over petty fucking differences, you don't deserve to be happy in any relationship because you're too fucking stuck up your own ass to realize the value of a person. And to any husbands that would break a relationship with their wife up, just because of petty differences, you deserve blue balls for the rest of your life, and you deserve a chastity belt, which in turn will prevent you from breeding. And to any woman out there that just wants to break off a relationship or a marriage just because of petty fucking differences, fuck you as well. You deserve to have your uteruses just shrivel up, chastity belt, no ability to breed whatsoever, Rot alone, die alone, that's all I have to fucking say about that bullshit because people like you don't understand the value of a fucking human being. And yeah, I would hate, I would absolutely fucking hate for this woman to have any kids. Imagine her own kids not liking the movie Frozen or any anything else that she likes. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if this cunt was in the news for something like that next relating to her fucking kids, if God forbid she has any in the future. But yeah, that's all I have to say in this video, you guys, and uh, feel free to leave your own shut the fuck up lines in the comment section below, and cheers, motherfuckers. Today's thirst quencher and energy providers brought to you by Rockstar Fruit Punch. It is fucking amazing, that's all I gotta say about that. Now stay tuned for more videos, take care, see you later, cueing epic outro music now.